Hey, what's up everybody? Paul here, Left Coast Model Car Builds. Happy Tuesday. Hope you're having a good week. Sorry we missed you last week. It's just been crazy. I think if you saw the videos the week before, I was saying things have been pretty crazy, pretty hectic, and it just continued. Uh, today, I, was think I think I was at the office by 6.40. I was doing some work from home a little after 6, and I just got back home now, and it's almost 5.30. So it's just been that kind of... Uh, almost going on three or four weeks uh you know but anyways that's life it's good it's cool so i apologize for missing at least my two videos last week and we i did during some off time start cleaning start going through some stuff and i moved all the resin so i couldn't get to them so we're going to do something a little different today we are going to go through one of our uh books here hot rods illustrated we may have looked at this before i'm not positive and because I'm in a time crunch, I didn't go back and look. So if you've seen it before, hopefully you enjoy it a second time. Uh, if you haven't seen it, there's some outstanding builds in here. So we'll take a look at that. And we're going to look at a couple of Willys pickups built. So we have uh, the Revell version, which was built by a good friend of ours, uh, Raul Perez. Really, really cool build. Tons of detail in this stuff. Uh, brake lines, fuel lines. As you can see in here, just absolutely beautiful. You'll see some pictures with the door open. Uh, Raul is just a phenomenal builder. You can see the pin on the hood there. So everything goes in, shuts really nice. Got the photo etched parts. I mean, it is just a phenomenal builder. So if you saw the video of his 58 Impala, same thing. We were at a show. I think it may have been the NNL. And uh, we were boxing stuff up, getting ready to go home. And he says, here, if you guys would like this. And I thought, wow, that's awesome. I mean, absolutely stunning build. Tons of detail. It's a pleasure, you know, to have it on the shelf with our stuff. Love it. And the second one is the AMT version, which was built by my nephew some years back. Uh, really cool, clean build. Not quite as uh, detailed there as Raul's, but definitely a cool build that uh, this one he built this. Gosh, it's been some years now. Uh, helped him a little bit with it. My pops, our friend Kevin gave him little help showing him some of the engine detail stuff where things go just a really cool build so we're gonna have these in under a little better light and have them on the little turn deal so you can get a look at them but really cool build love the gassers especially that just that look the style the willies or willis depending on how you pronounce it i don't know what the proper terminology is i've heard both i've called them both uh otherwise as i said being as busy as we've been no real work on the bench i did get some progress on my small scale i it's um you know i've man, every time i look at this thing i see more body work i can do i think i'm probably good you can where i molded this bottom piece in and this back piece, everything's pretty good. We got rid of the seams, worked those out. We've been rescribing the doors every each time we primer just to keep those nice and open. We've taken off the handles, the locks, the emblems. So may I'm you know, I wanted to put some candy on this. I'm not sure. I was looking, I have not used, we have some of this pro scale. Paint. I've been wanting to try this is a BMW Snapper Rock Blue Metallic. I was thinking that would be a pretty one on here with the white walls. I was actually going to spray it about a week ago. And then again, probably use the Honey Gloss Clear over it. But the weather has not been cooperating. We got our in, inside. We used a Pearl White. I think this was just the Tamiya Pearl White out of the can sprayed. I'm going to go back and do the carpets, put some flocking down. 
and probably going to do the top of the dash with a little bit of flocking. Otherwise, I've used chrome pens and some bare metal foil. Do a little bit of detail there. So nothing too fancy, but it's coming along. So I guess you could say we made a little bit of progress. Did a little bit of work on the chassis. Nothing fancy. This is just going to get put up there. Get the wheels set where we want them. Maybe I'll paint the bottom stuff, but we'll see. Anyways, hopefully that'll be done here pretty quick because technically I'm supposed to have my 49 done for my first group build here within a few days. It won't make a few days, but again, I'll block the body down, get it in paint, and I'll be getting closer. I've got some other stuff going for it. So yeah, just wild times, keeping busy. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at our willies. Take a look at our hot rods, and hopefully Thursday, we'll have our throwback Thursday. Then over the weekend, get some stuff done. Uh, pull out the box of resins, get back to resin Tuesday. I need to go through, look at the past videos, what I've done, see what's left. At some point, you know, resin Tuesdays will probably wrap up, because, uh, you know, we only got so many of those. Throwback Thursdays, I'm not too worried. We have a whole slew of, you know, old stuff to look at and check out. And then uh, quite a few of our Hot Rods Illustrated, thanks, thanks to Luke and the stuff that we had. Um, so let's dive into it. We'll be, uh, be back in a second. All right, everybody. So here's a look at the Ravel Willie's pickup or Willis, depending on, I, to be honest, I don't know what the correct is. I hear it both ways. But now, I mean, it's just a beautiful build. As I said, this is not one of mine. I would love to take credit for it. But this is our buddy, uh, Raul Perez. Uh, if you recall, if you've seen some of the other videos, the Red 58 Impala was one of his builds that he gifted to us. Very kind of him. Absolutely love having these up on the shelf with our models. And there you can see the shorter bed than the AMT Willie's pickup. You can see all the detail he's added here. Raul is just an outstanding builder. The amount of detail, everything he adds, I mean, it's just wild. You can see all that engine detail in there. We're going to look in here. Just a beautiful build. Let's see what the side here see the brake lines ran and again just absolutely beautiful and I love these old gassers especially the willies pickups and coops all right so let's go ahead and take a look at our AMT pick up now all right so this was built i believe from the uh amt coop slash pickup kit so this is one my nephew built uh years ago this is about the time my older daughter was also building i'll have to show you some of her stuff one of these days so they were both both still under the car culture but this is back when they were building some models uh, my nephew built some really cool stuff and this was one had some help with uh, I think myself, my pops, our buddy Kevin gave him a little info on some engine detail you can kind of see there really cool, really clean build these AMT ones are fairly basic but they Definitely benefit from a little cleanup. So this one here, I believe they used, 
I don't know if it was a House of Colors candy apple red. It may have been. Or something else Pops had back in the shed. And I believe the decals are cleared in. You know, nothing too fancy on the underside. Uh, not, you know, this is definitely not as detailed as Raul's Revell build. There's the underside, just nice and clean. So again, you know, really cool, really fun. Another one I want to build. This is one of the first models I had started uh, when I got into modeling, and it's somewhere back here sitting in primer. I don't know if I'll ever find it, but uh, definitely got a few more. I want to build one here eventually. Trying to get better view there with paint. Um, so anyhow, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the look at a couple of Willie's pickups, AMT and Ravel. And you can see the difference. The AMT's got the longer bed. I've heard the shorter bed is the actual correct, how it's supposed to look, but not 100% positive. See, they're really, really nice. So, all right, let me get these models put away. Might have a couple of still pictures there at the end. And we're going to get into our uh, Hot Rods Illustrated. Give me a second. I'll be right back. All right. So here we are with our Hot Rods Illustrated. This was issue number five back in 2008. Very cool artwork right there. Check that out. I think we all know what that kit is. Right? The AMT 34 pickup. We got some cool stuff in here. Again, if you guys have not checked out uh, Luke's stuff, please do so. Had some people from these that really loved his stuff. I think they've picked up a few, few issues. I mentioned, even found some on eBay. But I believe he does have a number of issues going back. Really cool. Old school stuff here. Very cool. <clears throat> Love these old hot rods. Check that out. That is cool. Now look at that engine. Thing's a beast. Some really cool stuff. Oh, that looks familiar right there, huh? Look like your uh, Ravel kit. Very cool. stuff tons of ideas when I flip through these books magazines I think every time we flip through these things I'm locking in ideas with the NNL East not sure which year that was looks like 
maybe 07. Hot rodding miniature. Grand National Roadster Show. I've missed that. I've not been to one in, it's been a few years, but and you talk about seeing some of the best of the best. And you'll get it there. So beautiful. Nice clean. clean. That's a sweet little roadster there. That's kind of old school style. Some artwork there. Very cool. Always enjoy seeing the artwork. That's pretty. There's a nice engine on that. Very cool. That's sweet. I like the white offset on the firewall, the running boards. Helps that orange pop a little. Very, very cool. That's sweet. That's cool. A little different there. Nice. Pinstriping back about 40. Very, very cool. Well, right up there on Wally Parks. That's cool. All right, so that gets us to the end of our magazine. Hope you guys enjoyed the willies. And uh, thank you for all the support, likes, shares, comments. Do enjoy the interactions, the feedback. Make sure you check out the page supporters. Luke with his magazines here, Customs Illustrated. You got Mark over at Hobby Nut, Nut, Hobby Nut Models. He's been getting in some really cool stuff. Some of the newer kits, jump over there, check them out. It's got all your paints, tools, everything else. Uh, check out scale finishes, ProTech, all really good stuff. All right, guys, so if I don't catch you tomorrow, we'll see you back Thursday. Have a good one, everybody.